Hello, welcome to this detailed video about checkout upsell campaign, especially pre-purchase type using the most amazing upsell WP plugin. Now, with the checkout upsell campaign and upsell opportunities available for your customers to consider before finalizing their order. These offers are a valuable aspect of the sales process as they have the potential to increase the overall value of your purchase. By utilizing our convenient upsell WP plugin, you can easily view and select upsell offers on the checkout page displayed as an on-page banner. This allows for a seamless and personalized shopping experience. Now I'm going to show you how to create this one. For this, we may have to go to the WordPress dashboard. Now do not forget to install and activate the plugin before you get into the configuration of the campaigns. Great. Now you can notice this checkout upsell here as soon as you install and activate the plugin. Now go to the dashboard, which looks something like this. Now, all that you have to do is go to the campaigns tab and start creating this new campaign type. Let's click on create new campaign and select the campaign type. So these are the campaign types that are available. Now select checkout upsells from the campaign type and click on create campaigns, which will take you to the configuration. Great. Let's give this a title. Now I'm going to call this repurchase upsell great next comes the offers section here you can decide the offer product that you're willing to display as an upsell product on the checkout now the first option you may find here is display location at checkout page you can go for this variety of options you have which allows you to choose the display location at the checkout page right now it's before payment gateways you also have bottom before place order button or anywhere you would like to have. So make sure you select which is appropriate for you. And then you have display method. You have different options here, which we will discuss in a different video. But right now I'm going for the default one. So this is especially applicable when you have multiple offers in a single campaign. You can also notice that you can add up to five upsell offers per campaign. Isn't that great? Let me explain how to add an upsell offer first. Let's click on this add offer button, which will take you to this screen. Now you can choose your upsell product here. The first upsell product that I'm going to add is a cap. Great. Click on cap and then comes the preview here. This is what the on page banner or the upsell is going to look like on the checkout page. Next comes the quantity, which is an optional one. This quantity refers to the number of quantities that customers can purchase as upsell products. You can either set it to custom or change it here according to your wish. I'm going to leave it empty, which means customers can choose their quantities. Next comes the discount type. I'm going to offer a 50% for this particular product. So let's go for a percentage discount. You also have other discount types here. So let me set the discount value to 50. And here comes the preview. Next comes the usage limits. And there are two different options there. The first one is overall usage limit, which applies to the entire campaign. And next comes the usage limit per customer, which is specifically for each customer, right? So if you put one here, for example, overall usage limit, it means the campaign can run entirely only once. If you put one here, which means usage limit per customer, then it applies to each customer only once. All right. So this is the difference that you will have to know. Take a preview here before you finalize everything. You also have options to customize the look and feel of this particular upsell offer that is presented at the checkout. For this, you can go to the template contents. Here you can edit whatever you want. For example, the offer title. You can keep the short code as it is, which will retrieve the discount value. And then the offer description can be edited here, which is reflected here. Nice. Next comes the offered CDA text, which will invite customers to add it to their checkout page by simply clicking on this button. And then also product image. Likewise, all of these can be done. Next comes template styling. You can also change the template if you want and also go for some custom styling if required. Great. Now let's save this particular offer. We have just added one upsell offer. You can also add up to five if you want. Next comes the condition section. So in case you want this upsell products to be presented based on a condition, then you can simply add it here. For example, in this particular video, let me change the example to this. Now we have the upsell product cap. 
but this is going to be displayed at the checkout only if customers buy a relevant product for example let me click on add condition and choose a condition here you can go for different conditions that you want i'm going to go for a products in the cart condition okay and the product that i'm going to select here is the t-shirt with logo so only upon customers adding this to their cart or checkout they'll be able to notice the cap upsell product presented to them at the checkout all right so let's save this condition you can view the condition here great you can also go without a condition but this is just an example next comes the optional settings which is priority this is applicable when you have multiple campaigns running at a time then comes date if you want to schedule these campaigns you can also do that as well that is all about the campaign configuration now let's save and close this particular campaign and you can notice that the campaign is live and active now it's time for us to view it on the storefront here we are on the storefront remember we have set a conditional upselling right so what we're going to do is first qualify for the upsell product by adding the condition or meeting the conditions which is to add this particular item t-shirt with logo let's click on add to cart yes the product is now added to the cart let me take you to the checkout page and here upon the condition being met which is this product is added to the checkout and hence the condition is met and now you can see that the upsell offer is presented to the customers on the checkout page which happens right before placing the order which is most important for a pre-purchase upsell campaign great now all that customers need to do is with just one simple click customers will be easily able to add the upsell product to their original order if they choose to do so great isn't it you can also see the label here we highly recommend getting the plugin today to experience the benefits of checkout upsells especially pre-purchase you'll be amazed at how they can enhance your checkout process thank you for watching